And now from the Forewarned Storm Center, meteorologist Thomas Geboy. Up after an up and down week weather wise ending today, ending in the week, the work week on a pretty good note, plenty of sunshine, just a few serious clouds off in the background and warming up pretty nicely today. Looking out inside in Ozark, looking pretty fantastic. Temperatures today got into the low end, mid 70, 74 degrees here in Dothan in the Doppler radar picture. Nice and quiet, not much going on and not much is going to go on throughout the next 12 hours. We'll start to see clouds gradually begin to move into the wire grass, but they're not going to harm anyone and we're probably within the next 12 hours or so, but our next system we're tracking it. We have a low pressure in the heartland of the country right now moving just off to the east of Nebraska. That is continuing to track it our way and this cold front right here you see is going to continue to extend south and by Sunday that will be moving into our area and bring us some extremely chilly air and you can see the cooler air in behind that Omaha, Nebraska sitting at 39 degrees. That cooler air will continue to make its way closer towards us and replace the nice warm air that we have seen right now in the wiregrass. Everyone seeing those temperatures pretty close to the 70 degree mark, 71 degrees in Dothan, 72 degrees in Troy, so perfect for an afternoon of football up there. And then in Destin and Panama City, just a little bit warmer with the northerly wind not having to activate the sea breeze. But future cast temperatures as we go into this evening and go into tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up tomorrow with temperatures pretty close to 50 degrees. Going to go with an overnight overnight low of 51 in Dothan. But as we go throughout the afternoon, this is going to be before the cold front arrives. So we'll get temperatures pretty close to 70 degrees. Don't think we'll get the temperatures all that warm mainly because our cloud coverage is going to, get, going to continue to increase. But notice once we get to Saturday evening, cold front is going to be moving through the area, so we're going to start to see that cooler air, especially Sunday morning where overnight low is going to be into the mid and upper 40s. Going into Sunday afternoon, over daytime high is going to be pretty close to 55 degrees, so it's going to be quite cool outside. But the second night we're past that cold front, we're going to get temperatures downright cold, kind of bone chilling as if you will. We'll see temperatures pretty close to the freezing mark. I'm going to go with a low of 32 degrees on Monday morning and we'll keep temperatures pretty close to freezing going into Tuesday as well. So going through the rest of this afternoon heading into tomorrow, we'll have a chance of rain about a 10% early tomorrow morning. So if you're out and about early tomorrow, make sure you grab the umbrella just in case. But and the best chance of rain tomorrow is going to be in our southeast section. So anywhere in the Florida Panhandle and our East Alabama and Georgia zones as well have the best chance of seeing rain. And then we clear everything out going into late Saturday night and into Sunday morning. So that's when we'll start to see the rain and we won't really see a better chance for rain probably for the next 10 days. So looking good after we can get past that. But for tonight, overnight low of 51 degrees. Clouds will be increasing. But for your backyard forecast, going to go with a high near 65 to 67 degrees tomorrow. So feeling pretty nice. So tomorrow should be a pretty nice afternoon. Isolated showers on the coast are possible. We'll start off with east winds at 15 knots, dying down a little bit later in the afternoon to 5 to 10 knots and predominantly yellow flags. And the water temperature is 72 degrees. So tomorrow may be a pretty good day to get the beach day. Probably a good one, especially for the next seven days because temperature is going to be on the decline for sure. 30% chance of rain tomorrow. Cold front passes in between Saturday night and into Sunday morning and then bone chilling air early Monday morning. Overnight lows both Sunday and Monday look to be in the low and mid 30s, but we do have some relief. We'll start to see temperatures gradually warming up to Turkey Day. Turkey Day looking like mm -hmm. a pretty fantastic day with highs near 70 degrees. 70 degrees looking good. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh. The CDC reports on